Combat Champions is like a trick-shotting version of Battlefield with high-flying stunts, style, and the fun ceiling turned up to 11. I was instantly addicted to attempting ridiculous plays while fighting for objectives during the recent playtests. Developed by a small team of former Battlefield developers, Combat Champions also features a halftime mechanic which breaks up the match with a variety of short, dynamic, one-off rounds. With a lot of Battlefield fans looking to the future as DICE and EA try to figure out how to bring Battlefield back to the forefront of the FPS genre, developer C77 may be onto something here with some interesting changes of pace and an over-the-top twist. At its core, Combat Champions is a smaller scale take on Battlefield's Conquest mode with teams being tasked with controlling a variety of objective points on a map. With 32 players instead of 64 or 128, the matches feel a bit smaller but also feel right-sized for the number of players on the map. The Combat Champions test that I played today and streamed at twitch.tv slash Reynolds featured six maps with a variety of themes from construction sites, skyscrapers, deserts, and jungles, all of which felt very well designed, polished, and unique. So other than the obvious visual style change and player count, how does Combat Champions actually differentiate itself from Battlefield? First and foremost is the mobility and stun aspect of the game. Throughout all the Combat Champions maps are a variety of slingshots, man cannons, and lifts to propel yourself across the maps. Not only does this allow you to move around the maps quicker, rotate to new objectives, and reduce downtime, but it also opens the door to a ton of high-octane stunts which I instantly became addicted to. Sniping people at full speed as you zoom over a chasm, or parachute off a building, and you shotgun somebody from above, spraying down on an enemy, over a building at full speed with a rocket launcher, the options are really endless, and it's super fun. You're gonna see a lot of that footage in this video if you're paying attention. If you can imagine a circus take on Battlefield or a stuntman's take on Battlefield, that's kind of what Combat Champions is, and it creates a lot of epic moments and also a few hilarious ones on the way. There's also a scoring system at the end of each match for how crazy your stunts were. I'm not 100% sure how that works yet, but the game does take note of it. The gunplay in Combat Champions feels relatively similar to Battlefield with a variety of assault rifles, snipers, shotguns, SMGs, explosives, etc. Some guns have more recoil than others, and it's important to note that Combat Champions does feature some level of destruction, wall banging, etc. It's not as much as, say, the finals, but it's there and not too much different than something like Battlefield 2042. Back to the gunplay, though, everything that I experienced felt solid and intuitive. Sniping felt great, which is something I've always loved in Battlefield. Shotguns felt powerful. ARs and SMGs felt balanced and right sides like they should. The only gunplay question that I have, the current version of Combat Champions does not feature customizable attachments. The guns are what they are. If it comes with iron sights, you've always got to use it with iron sights. I actually don't mind this as most players don't really use a fraction of the attachments in most shooters these days, but I did want to make note of it. As of now in Combat Champions, each gun is what it is, there are quite a few guns to use, and I'm sure we're only going to get more in the future. Combat Champions also features an interesting halftime mechanic which breaks up the long and sometimes tedious Conquest format. Instead of playing a really long match and we have to occupy zones for seemingly forever, Combat Champions matches are decided by two smaller 10 minute rounds. In between those rounds is a halftime which breaks up the pace of play by having the teams face off in unique and dynamic game modes on a smaller portion of the map. I've played everything from one in the chamber, VIP, noob tubes only, and more. Most of these rounds are, you know, one life per round kind of modes like a Counter-Strike or a Valorant. You can revive teammates who have not been finished when they go down, but there's already a bunch of these in here that really break up the pace of play and create some fun, which C77 has set themselves up to add a ton of these modes over time, you know, but you can really push this idea, you know, you can see every season them adding new halftime modes relatively easily. I played Combat Champions for three hours on stream and I had a lot of fun. I hit a ton of clips and had fun attempting all sorts of crazy trick shots. There's not a lot of competition in the battlefield space right now and I think C77 has made some interesting design choices that address some of the reasons that Battlefield has kind of been falling out of favor. They've certainly done enough to catch my eye and make me wishlist the game and I'll be interested to watch it as it develops even further. It'll be interesting to see what they plan, you know, what's the release vehicle? Is it going to be free to play or paid? What types of progression or ranked modes or competition are they going to build in? You know, how good is the cosmetic content going to be? All that stuff's important for games to capture, but they've seemingly done the hard part and made a fun game that's attractive 
and just straight up fun to play. There's certainly a ton of Battlefield fans out there looking to scratch this itch, and if C-77 can get enough eyes on combat champions, they may be able to carve out a piece of that pie for themselves. So if you want more previews of upcoming FPSs like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Come subscribe to my Midnight Mare channel where I cover Dead Drop and Midnight Society exclusively. We're also working on a new live action short film over there in that universe. I'm everywhere, guys. On Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Just, just follow Mayor Reynolds, Mayor Reynolds TV, Midnight Mare, wherever. I appreciate your guys' support. I really appreciate everybody watching. And if you played Combat Champions or if you've watched the footage, let me know what you think of it down in the description. Thanks for watching. Mayor Reynolds out. Should be launching off of this thing, I think. Yep, watch, ready? <laughs> oh, oh. Champions are safe at their home base. They can't look at that. damage or get hit. Oh. Yeah, and that is the last thing they should be doing right now. Yeah, they need to breathe through this and get back to the good parts of their game and they'll be just fine. They'll want to get to the next point right now. That's it. Looking ahead. Bending. 